second year, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Wednesday, the 26th of August, yes, and we are going to check pages from the activity book, yes, we are going to check activity book, yes, pages 76, 77, 78 and 79, yes, okay? And we are going to analyze, yes, mistakes from the other man, yes, okay? The uh, three minutes video, yes, okay, the other man. Muy bien, Agustín, yes. Eh, el final de tu video donde explicas why you like the, the, um, the short story, yes, ok, y cómo presentas el video, la introduction también. Este video está mucho mejor, Agustín, eh? mucho mejor, está más concentrado. Todas aquellas personas, no me pidan por favor de mandarme por el celular, porque nosotros tenemos asignados tres IDs, Teacher Nicole, Teacher Kevin and, and, and I, y tenemos asignados los ID para corregir en la plataforma. ¿Por qué? Porque nuestros celulares no dan abasto para tener, imagínense, si tenemos que corregir los tres celulares, el teacher que viene el mío, son tres celulares que tienen que tener super mega H y recontra capacidad para eso. Entonces, por eso ya trabajamos en una plataforma, no porque yo sea mala ni porque no les quiera recibir. Entonces, tienen que mandar por la plataforma como se hizo desde el principio de año. A nadie no les recibí. ¿Sí? De, de, no les puedo recibir por el, el cell phone. ¿Es clear? Y más porque nosotros trabajamos en equipo. ¿Sí? Entonces, ese el mismo vídeo tiene que tener acceso Teacher Kevin, tiene que tener acceso Teacher Ruth, Teacher Nicole. ¿Está? Otra cosa, muy pocos vídeos. Hay mucha gente que eh, tienen que tratar de enviar los vídeos, porque o si no, no los vamos a poder evaluar. ¿Está? Yes, ok. Bueno, voy a ir eh, uno por uno por los mistakes. Cada uno quiero que lea, open your video y al costado tienen todos los comments, ok. Y hubo muchos faltantes. Ojo con el tema de delay homework. Nosotros cada semana, ustedes ven este cuaderno, nosotros cada semana tenemos así la agenda completa de tareas que tenemos que Recuerden que yo veo todas las tareas de todos los cursos. Entonces, los teachers van teniendo su agenda de correcciones y me van pasando a mí las correcciones. Entonces, si nosotros tenemos atrasado, atrasamos el trabajo que es de esta semana. Esta semana tenemos dos hojas. Si nos juntamos, con, si nos ponemos a corregir tarea atrasada, tenemos una bolsa. Entonces, por eso, yo respeto tus tiempos, te mando en tiempo y forma tu corrección y ustedes, como alumnos, tienen que respetar los tiempos de la profesora. ¿Se entiende? Así que a tener en cuenta eso, por favor. ¿Yes? A no ser que les haya pasado algo, porque siempre alguien que me pide, teacher, hoy estuve re enferma, hoy tuve fiebre, qué sé yo, me mandan un mensaje a los papás y yo le digo, bueno, sí, me puede entregar mañana, no hay problema. ¿Está? Pero todas estas cosas, <coughs> o por ahí si no tuvieron internet, todas estas cosas siempre se contemplan. Pero después ya cuando empezamos a entregar todo porque sí, porque sí, porque sí, todo tarde entonces tenemos que apuntar a la responsabilidad y ser justos con todo, ¿sí? porque yo tengo que ser justo también así con los chicos que me entrego si no va a ser injusto aceptar tarea atrasada a todo el mundo y va a ser injusto para aquel alumno que pone, se pone las pilas, pone de él, de ella para entregar todo en tiempo y forma, ¿está? es un video de 3 minutes y voy a dar los tips también para ir mejorando eh, ese horario, ¿y es? ¿Está? Bueno, y ya le dejé escrito a cada uno lo que teníamos que mejorar también. Bueno, vamos a corregir, we're going to check pages for the activity book first, ¿ok? Yes, and then we are going to go to the mistakes, and then we are going to go to unit today, unit um, 10, C, D, yes, E, Plus review, yes, ok. Y también tenemos que prepararnos para, ¿qué cosa? Para la revisión de la clase que viene, ¿sí? ¿Está? Porque no revisamos la unidad 10, después ya nos quedan dos unidades. Y ya, bye, bye, book, estaríamos terminando con los, eh, con los tópicos. Atención, porque se vienen temas 
que son esenciales que no te pierdas la clase, ¿sí? Porque van a estar ahí siempre incluidos. Y luego, la ventaja es que tenemos todas las clases, eh, todas las clases grabadas, ¿sí? Puedes reverla uh, once and again, yes, ¿ok? Bueno, well, let's go very quickly, let's go very quickly to page uh, 76, 77, 79, and 78, yes? Good, 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 good. One and two, yes, one and two, yes, from page 76, okay? Good. One, geography, two, chemistry, three, IT, yes, okay, después tenemos eh, física, eh, yeah, physics, Okay, uh, biology, yeah. literature, history, mathematics. Number two, wait a minute. Wait, 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 I'm checking something. Physics. Yes, physically. What? Okay. Yes, I'm checking the pronunciation. Biology, number five, six, literature, seven, history, and eight, mathematics. Number two, physics, two, literature, three, IT, four, history, and five, biology. Yes, okay. Page 77, 77. Exercise five, yes, okay, good. I've learned, haven't called, has forgotten, hasn't understood, has rained, have answered, haven't had, okay, is it clear? Page 78, page 78, okay, okay, number one, B, two, D, 3A, 4C. Number two, reason. As a historic city with lots of interesting places to visit. Reason two, for difficult roads. Yes. Two, because visitors become lost in the old streets. Three, in 1865. Four, over two years. Five, no. Six, no. Seven, the hippocampus. It's the part of the part that stores memories. Okay, bueno, esto sabemos el hipocampo. Yes, it stores memories. Eight, it's bigger than in the brain of other people. Yes, okay. Number three. One, are you ready? A, two, C, three, A, four, C, five, B. Yes, four. Buy to bought three pay paid four put five put six sent seven forget eight made nine read read ten win. Yes, okay. Good. Red. Yes, okay. Good. Nine 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 exercise. Four, 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 four. Yes, okay, that's the correct pronunciation. Good. Five, red, one, exercise five. Are you ready? Red, one, buy, win, send, put, red, paid, forgotten. Exercise six, red, perdón, sorry, have taken, took, two, have studied, studied, three, have taught taught four have learned learned five have written wrote yes okay and that is all until there yes okay well so pay attention now put in order okay well so pay attention uh august ramirez 
It was okay too, your video was okay too, but pay attention, don't mix the tenses, yes, okay? Remember, you have to uh, say, tell the story in past, yes, so that was the consigna. Porque a veces, generalmente en el primer cuatrimestre, les pedimos que cuenten la historia en presente para practicar uh, the man, is at home, he is looking for a job, he gets lost, para practicar todas esas heces que a veces nos comemos en present simple. Pero, but in this case, that is on, case that is on the second part of the year, ¿qué es lo que pedí yo? Que lean the other man, que hagan el brainstorming y que me cuenten la historia en pasado. Entonces, lean las consignas, por favor, miren la clase con atención, muy bien resumido, Agustín, ¿está? Pero, ojo. La pronunciación, eh, no solo Agustín, después adelante también había más gente con man y men. Man is singular and men is plural. Ok, yes, right, is it clear? Man, men, ok. There was a man, the man, no the men, because men is plural, los hombres, yes, ok. Eh, Cata, other, the other man, no other man, the other man, couldn't, he thought, he decided to leave. Decidió irse, entonces, decided to. Ojo con la pronunciación de decided. Didn't so, didn't so, no puede ser, porque nosotros sabemos que es didn't, didn't so, impossible, didn't see. Entonces, ya voy a dar los tips al final de estos comentarios, yes, ok. So pay attention, tenemos que ir puliendo esto porque vos te estás preparando para pasar a un tercer año. Así que tu segundo año tiene que estar súper pulido. No puede haber errores elementales. Y es Sabri, también didn't see, looked, the man looked at himself. No me pronuncien mal los verbos en pasado porque ya lo sabemos de tercer grado. Entonces, looked, entonces cuando yo hago las repeticiones, las repeticiones de los verbos, Hagan ustedes el esfuerzo de repetir, repetir, repetir. ¿Es clear? So, looked at himself, yes. The other was wanted, yes. Wanted, decided, thought, yes, okay. Good, yes, good. Agustín, no good. The story is good, yes. Ok, la valoración que le diste al final me encantó, me encantó. Muy bueno. Eh, muy bien organizado ese vídeo también, muy bien organizado lo que ibas a decir, cómo vas a contar las historias. Y lo más importante, no estabas leyendo. Porque esa es la historia. Good, ah, bueno, y esto te quiero comentar, Agus, atender. Nosotros decimos the other. The, acá sí vamos a pronunciar the. The other man. Porque viene una vocal. Pero si nosotros queremos decir the man, no voy a decir the man ahí, ¿sí? Entonces, voy a pronunciar the other cuando después de the viene una vocal. The apple, the elephant, ¿ok? Pero acá en este caso no, porque viene otra palabra que no es vocal. Está así que ojo con esa pronunciación. Wasn't the writer. Luana, the man's voice, yes. Ok, the man, boys, yes, uh, decided to go for a walk, he decided to go for a walk, eyes, ¿qué le pasó que me están pronunciando mal esta palabra que es de starters? Yes, eyes, eye, yes, eye, como que te pinchan, eye, yes, ok, eyes, yes, así que ojo ahí, couldn't see, uh, Santi decided to stay, Yes, looked, eyes, también la palabra right. No quiero que lean, por favor. Quiero que cuenten la historia porque en ningún momento, ustedes cuando nosotros los llamamos a decir la short story, en ningún momento vienen con una hojita. Ni el brainstorming le dejo traer yo. ¿Está? Entonces, esa es la idea. ¿Para qué se hace tips para mejorar? Read the, uh, primero, read the story. Second, ¿Qué hacemos? Lo primero que hacemos, ah, después de leer la historia, ¿qué hacemos? Brainstorming. ¿Para qué sirve el brainstorming? To organize your ideas, to know what verbs you are going to use when you retell the story, yes, and then retell the story in two minutes or three, and then record yourself. Yo no puedo venir, a ver, tengo que decir the other man. The other man, well, uh, the other man was a man... 
Uy, ¿cómo se decía? Estaba. Ah, he was uh, in his bathroom. And uh, one day he. ¿Cómo se dice dar cuenta? Ah, realized. Ok. And then in the end, ¿cómo se dice robó? Ah, still stole. He stole his life. No, ¿está? Entonces, esa es la idea. Seguí los tips y no quiero leído de un papel. ¿Sí? ¿Está? ¿Es it clear? Porque lo tienen que saber contar, como cuando te doy un cuento y vos lo tenés que decir. Entonces tenés que saber los personajes principales, ¿sí? Cómo va la historia, personajes secundarios, ¿sí? Cómo va la introducción, qué pasa en la introducción, qué pasa con este personaje a lo largo del nudo de la historia, ¿sí? Del body de la historia. Y después llega ese personaje a su cometido, ¿yes? In the end. ¿Es it clear? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Well, that's it. So... Shall we go to, um, we are going to work on those pages today. Uh -huh. Class book, pages uh, 125, ok? And 128, yes, 128. These are the pages we are going to work in class today. Is it clear? Right, well, so, shall we go to page, uh, one, put the date in all the pages, and I'm going to introduce uh, everything now, ok? Is it clear? Right. Here we go. Param, param. Let's go, unit ten. So, if we are talking about good and bad habits, yes, what do you know uh, about good, did you put the date in all the pages? Yes, okay. What do you know about good and bad habits? Yes, okay. So, you're going to look at the pictures, yes, and you're going to describe what you can see there, yes, okay. Okay, so we have there, not eating breakfast, that is a bad habit, yes, sometimes it happens, yes, okay, that uh, your child, your daughter, your son doesn't want to eat breakfast, yes, so that is a very bad habit because you have uh, slept for many hours, yes, and you need to have breakfast, yes, what about, what about singing in the shower, is it a bad habit, a good habit, yes, okay, no, this is a good habit, singing in the shower. Brushing your teeth twice a day. Well, this is a very good habit. Yes, okay. Smoking cigarette. Well, that is a very bad habit because it could be unhealthy for your health. Yes, so I want you to describe your picture. Remember, the first I describe, the first time I describe, and then at home you have to pause the video. Tienes que pausar el video y describir cada una de las frases. ¿Por qué es bueno o malo? Why is it a good habit or a bad habit? Learning English words every day. This is a very good habit. Yes, a very good habit. Okay, doing homework is a very good habit. Okay, beating your fingernails. That is a very bad habit. Okay. And we continue with more good and bad habits. Yes, okay. Using the phone when you are having lunch, dinner, or breakfast. Oh my God, that is a very bad habit, okay? Well, putting sugar in your tea, well, this is a very good habit. Okay, swimming every morning, very good habit, doing exercising in the morning. And then we have um, eating a lot of chocolate, yes. Eating chocolate is healthy, but if you eat high quality chocolate, 
Yes, okay. But, and also, if you eat a lot of uh, chocolate, of course, it could be a bad habit. But it's healthy if you eat high quality chocolate. Yes, okay. Well, then practicing uh, the guitar for 30 minutes a day, this is a very good habit. Drinking lots of coffee every day, well, that is a very bad habit, but coffee is oh my god, yes? Maybe you can drink coffee without caffeine. I do this, yes, because I, uh, I think it's better, and it's the same because it's, uh, the smell is the same, yes, okay? Well, so, uh, in the book, Yes, you will have the list of good and bad habits. We are going to work there. But first of all, yes, okay, we are going to, um, we are going to, I'm going to introduce email addresses. Atención acá a las email addresses. Tal vez en alguna otra clase te hemos nombrado, como se dice, punto, coma, arroba, eh, los diferentes tipos de addresses when we are talking about an email. Pero hoy vamos a hacer eso, te voy a refrescar esas ideas, ¿sí? Ok. Is it clear? Right. Wait a minute. Okay. Well, so this is very, very important. Yes. Okay. It's excellent. Qué lindos cuadritos que hacemos en la ficha. Nosotros nos vamos a lavar. Okay, gusta, bueno, es para ustedes. Okay, well, I will clean this part of the board because you already know um, the pages we are going to work with. Okay, so you have underscore, guión bajo, at, yes, Gabriel underscore Miller at gmail.com www.facebook.com Yes, okay. Column, yes. Double slash, yes. www.amazon.order dash Es diferente el guión bajo, eh? Underscore, and this is dash guión updates.com dot co.uk Yes, ok? So, mira, grabatela, ponete en pausa si quieres copiatela en el cuaderno, imprimitela como vos quieras. Yes, that's, yes. This is uh, email addresses. Yes, ok? And then, we are going to go, we are going to listen to a message now. Yes, ok? Okay, can you see from there? Yes, okay. This is a message. Yes, okay. When someone call home, yes, and you know, they want to leave a message, yes. Name of the caller, message for, and message. Suppose you are uh, in a company. Entonces va a haber un, una, plata, un, un, una clase de agenda, una clase de papel, una clase de schedule que vamos a tener que seguir donde vamos a poner el nombre de el que llama el mensaje para quién es para la doctora Fernández la doctora Ríos la doctora, yes okay para qué tiche para tiche Ruth Nicole yes y qué eh, qué es el mensaje urgent cuántas estrellas super urgente re urgente más o menos urgente y el mensaje lo vamos a poner con uh, commands yes con imperatives okay yes ahora lo vamos a ver mm, vamos a esto yes Hello. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute because I have to play the, um, the track. Okay, okay, my friend. Good, good, good. Wait, wait, wait. 
Are you ready? Be patient, please. Okay, well. I have to sit, yeah? I'm looking for the trash. Life, Elementary Students Book by John Hughes with Paul Dummett and Helen. There we are. Track 100, Unit 10E. 1. Can you call Jim back this evening? 2. I'd like you to email the date of the meeting. Three. Can you meet Mrs. Rivers at the airport? Four. Would you book a room for two? Track 100. Unit 10E. Wait a minute. Be patient. There we are. Track 99, Unit 10E. Hello, this is the Ancasa Hotel. Please leave a message after the tone. I will take the message. Hello, this is Richard Sanger calling. That's S-A-N-G-E-R. This is a message for Dr. Omar al Habia. 9. Unit 10E. Hello. This is the Ancasa Hotel. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello. This is Richard Sanger calling. That's S-A-N-G-E-R. This is a message for Dr. Omar al Habia. Please tell him I can't email the designs, so they are on a website. He can download them from okay, this address. Okay, I have to take the message. It's Omarox. Yes, I have to take the message. O-M... You are dead with you. So pay attention. Hello, this is the Ancasa Hotel. Please leave a message after the tone. Name of the caller, the person who is calling, yes? Hello, this is Richard Sanger calling. That's S-A-N-G-E-R. This is a message for Dr. Omar al Habia. Please tell him I can't email the designs, so they are on a website. He can download them from this address. It's okay, so the first Omarox. one is that's the, the problem uh, is this that is Richard Sanger calling. That's S A N G E R. This is a message for Dr. Omar Al Habia. Okay, wait. Please tell him I can't email the designs. Can't email designs? So they are on a website. They are on the website. They are on the website.
he can download them from this address. Okay, so there is an address, okay, download, download, from, y ahí me va a dictar una address. It's Omarox. Omarox, yes, okay, and you have this address, okay. That's O M A R O X. Okay. Unload them from this address. It's Omarox. That's O M A R O X dot com slash E dash one. Okay. Once again, that's omarox.com slash e dash one and can he call me back on my mobile number that's o double or on a website he can download them from this address it's omarox that's o m a r o x dot com slash e dash one once again that's omarox.com slash e dash one mm -hmm. and can he call me back on my mobile number that's o double seven o two three four three seven eight five or email me at r underscore sanger at yeah. omarox.com please give him this message 3785 Let's check the number again 234 slash e dash one and can he call me back on my mobile number that's o double seven o two three four three seven eight five okay or, or email me at r email me at blah 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 y ahí no va a decir un email address okay r yes underscore sanger at omarox.com please give him this message before he leaves this underscore morning. R. it's urgent or email me at 3785 or email me at r underscore sanger at omarox.com Please give him this message before he leaves this morning. It's urgent. Okay? Oh my God! Vieron que es super, su y eso que esto va lento, super lento. Entonces tenemos, ¿y qué clase de mensaje era? Urgent. Y le pongo un we take. Entonces, a ver. Tenemos Richard Sanger, do, uh, the message is for Dr. Omar Al Harba. Yes. Ok, ¿qué pasa? Can't, ¿qué mensaje es? Can't email designs, so they are on the website. You can download from. Atención, que tenés que copiarte bien, sí o sí, el email address. Entonces, that's why it is very important to know dot at underscore dash. Yes, dot com. Yes, R. Yes, okay, at, sorry. Yes, okay. Uh, Amarox.com. Yes, okay. Dash E dash one. You can call, yes, or call at this number. The O double seven O two three four three seven eight five or email at R 
Yes, under Scott Singer dot amarot dot com. Email me urgently. What kind of um, message is it? It's urgent. Yes, okay. Entonces, esto es un eh, tomar el mensaje. ¿Y qué es lo que tomamos si usamos los imperativos? ¿Qué, ¿Cuáles son los imperativos? Call me, eh, eh, download, yes, download, yes, email me, yes, ok, send, uh, send a message, entonces, ¿sí? Esos eran los imperativos. Open, send a message, email me, ¿sí? Sentate, mandar, enviar. ¿Sí? Vamos a poner en estos mensajitos, porque no podés escribir toda la oración junta y tenés que usar los imperatives. ¿Es it clear? Well, so, can we go to the pages now? Yes, ok. Entonces, eso era la, la presentación de todos los tópicos, los temas que van a aparecer acá. Los tenés todos aquí en ejemplo. Mensajes, yes, ok. Messages. Um, good and bad habits. Um, what else? Uh, this is very important, yes, the email, uh, addresses, yes, is it clear? Right. Good, good, good. Once again, okay, underscore at dot dash, yes, column, yes, okay, well, good, shall we go to the pages, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shall we go to exercise uh, from page 122? Yes, we are going to go very quickly, very quickly, yes, to exercises 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 6 and 7, 1, 2, 3, 6 and 7. Good learning habits, yes, okay. People who learn, I'm on the text on page 123, to do something really well, nearly always have good routine habits. So having a routine is a very good habit because it helps you uh, to succeed in uh, doing a sport, studying your studies, yes, and everything. So uh, you're going to read why habits are useful for us, yes, like brushing our teeth, um, uh, what else, the ones that we have already talked, play an instrument, Yes, have breakfast in the morning. Yes, okay. According to researches of the university at University College London, most people can make something into a habit after 66, 66 days of routine and repetition. Stopping a bad habit, for example, giving up, up smoking, can take longer, up to 254 days. In conclusion, one conclusion was that their situation is important for a habit. So if you are going to change the habit of having coffee and cake every day, don't go to the cafe, but for a walk. Yes, in other words, change the situation and start a new routine. Yes, you have to change the situation, yes, and start a new routine. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Good. Read it, yes, okay? Because you need it for doing the activities, yes? One, two, three, six, seven. One, two, three, six, and seven. Are you ready? So now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Is it clear? I will dictate the answers. So when you finish doing, you have to check by listening to the correction, auto correction, okay? Um, good habits, B, C, A, J, M. Bad habits, A, E, G, H, I, K, L. Not good or bad, D and F. Okay, uh, do you have any good habits? Well, you have to list your habits and you have to speak about them. Why do you think it is a good habit or a bad habit? Have you ever tried to change the habit? A habit? Um, 
A habit, yes, I have, um, and I have succeeded, yes. Uh, nowadays, I am. Uh, I used to do uh, exercises at night, but sometimes, sometimes, most of the times, because of my work, I couldn't uh, do the exercises, so I felt very, felt very frustrated. So nowadays, I decided to change the habit, and I am uh, doing exercises early, early in the morning. And I feel very proud because I could change and I could succeed. Yes, another thing is that I stop, um, stopped eating carbohydrates. Yes, okay. And uh, I feel better. Yes, okay. And um, I think um, I succeed. Yes, okay. Wait a minute. I'm checking our pronunciation. Okay, well, so uh, let's go to exercise three. He listens to loud hip hop music, two, 28 Olympic medals, 23 of which are gold, three, brushing our teeth, practicing 30 minutes a day, four, because it's sun, five, because you spend more money, eat too many calories and drink more caffeine. Yes, up to 254 days, seven, change the situation. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, yes. Okay, good. I will. Um, yes, carbohydrates. Yes, hydrates. Okay, that was the correct one. Okay, I love this dictionary. Good. Well, uh, exercise uh, six. Exercise six. Get up. Line 5, give up, line 30. Will you give up, will you give up smoking? Yeah. Dejar, stop doing something. Will you give up the gym? Will you give up cigarettes? Yes, ok, puede ser que dejes una cosa o de hacer una actividad. Give up smoking, give up um, watching horror movies, movies. Give up drinking a lot of alcohol, give up uh, carbohydrates, yes, okay, well, good. Um, exercise seven, uh, one A, get up, yes, one A, get out of bed, yes, two D, two D, yes, stop a bad habit, three C, wake up, Stop sleeping, yes, despertarse, wake up lazy girl, yes, and get up y levantarse de la cama. Entonces, anotate por favor la diferencia que hay entre get up y wake up, que seguramente ya lo sabes, yes, ok, wake up, despertarse y get up, levantarse. Yo me anoto acá para que quede para el año que viene, también notaciones, ok? Is it clear? Yes, ok? So we have 3C, wake up, stop, uh, 3C, stop sleeping. Yes, ok? Stop sleeping, despertarse, yes? And get up, get up, is 1A, get out of bed, levantarse de la cama. Yes, ok? Good. Uh, for E, for E, is go up. For E, increase, yes, and 5B, dress up, B, 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 wear for fur or nice clothes, yes, okay, good. And exercise 3 is, could be for the 3 minutes video, can, uh, how can you run a marathon, a marathon, how can you stop drinking uh, coffee, how can you stop eating Carbohydrates, yes, okay. The thing is that you have to manage everything. Um, no manage. Uh, the thing is that you have to uh, put yourself a goal, yes, and try to succeed, yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. So we're going to go to page 100 and, uh, 124. Yes, we are going to go to the listening, yes. You're going to look at the photo first and answer the question, how does the man feel? Mm, I think he is feeling uh, a bit sad or frustrated uh, or angry maybe. 
You describe the picture on page 124, exercise 1. Has your mobile phone uh, or internet connection ever stopped working? Yes, of course. Um, if uh, I am working, yes, and I, if I have to send you videos, I get very sad, frustrated and angry. But if, if I am just um, watching, uh, seeing Pinterest, for me it's okay, I don't get mad, yes. At least it is a work, a matter of uh, working things, yes, okay. So you are going to read, you are going to listen to Richard, Richard for uh, Omarot Engineering. He answers a telephone call from Omar. Listen and answer the question. Now we have already, we have already listened to it, yes. So it could be, um, you will notice it because I use it for the presentation. Okay, is it clear? Of a message. Track 96, Unit 12B. If you live in the middle of the city, maybe you think that there's nowhere to look at nature. Or... Track 96. Unit 10D. Hello, Omarox Engineering. You have to say, answer, where is Omar? What time is it? What, what isn't working? What's the name of Omar's hotel? And what's his number? What's the number? And where has Richard put the design? Hello, Richard. This is Omar. Hello, Omar. Where are you? I'm in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Great. What time is it there? Uh, it's three o'clock. Is that three in the morning? No, in the afternoon. I've just arrived, but my mobile isn't working. I'm calling from a telephone at the hotel. I see. So I want to give you the number for my hotel for the next two days. It's the Ancasa Hotel. One moment. I need a pen. Okay. Sorry. Was that the Ancasa Hotel? No, the Ancasa Hotel. A for Apple. Oh, sorry. Ancasa. And the number is six or... Alphabet. The alphabet is very important. A, B, C, D, E, A. Yes, okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, yes. O, three. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, Y, S, T, U, B, W, X, ah, 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 okay. Two, one, six, nine, double two, double six. So that's six zero three two one six nine two two six six. That's right. Is there anything else? Yes, one thing. Have you called our colleagues about tomorrow? Yes, I have. They can meet you at three. Good, thanks. I also need the designs, but my email isn't working. I know. I tried to email them, but the email came back three times this morning. Oh, I um, can you put them on the company website and I can download them? Yes, I've done that. Oh, great. Thanks. Bye for now. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Okay, so where is he? in Kuala Lumpur at the Ancasa Hotel. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, Omar, Omar's mobile at the Ancasa Hotel, 603-216-9266. And he's going, he has sent the email three times, I think, but it came back 
So um, the solution is to put uh, the designs on the website, um, on the company website. Yes, okay. Exercise three. So you are going to listen again and you are going to check, yes, the expressions you have there. Okay, is it clear? Good. Must, uh, you know, the charts must be highlighted. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Is that three in the morning? Yes, okay. One B, two E, three A, four D, five C, six F. Mm -hmm. And when you come back, we are going to do exercise five together because that is a role play and we have to practice a telephone conversation. So one is going to call and the other is going to receive a message and it could be great, okay? So, uh, on page 125, we are about to finish. Yes, you have exercises, the things we have there. Exercises one, igualmente aquí pueden poner lo que le hicimos con la teacher Nicole, que son todas las eh, dot, eh, at, eh, underscore, yes, okay, uh, dot, yes, okay, is it clear? Dash, eh, you're going to do exercise one, two is already done, porque lo hicimos en, en la pizarra, yes, okay, and uh, you are going to um, prepare, yes, to leave a message for a colleague. Include, en el ejercicio 6, van a ser ustedes, yes, y van a, a preparar el mensaje, como hice yo en la clase. Te vas a imaginar de quién llama, name of the caller, message for, and the message. Y lo hace solito en casa. Y en el ejercicio 100, vamos a escuchar, we are going to listen to five voice mail uh, messages, and we have to write down the imperatives. Call, down low, email me, yes, okay, llamame, llamar, eh, escribir, eh, mandar un email, yes, okay, That send, enviar un mensaje, yes, is it clear? So, uh, 98, we are going to listen, okay, exercise one. Track 98, unit 10E. One, underscore. Jane underscore Jones at hotmail.co.uk. Two, repetition, www.ancasa.com. www.ancasa.com. Three, charityhelp.org slash b dash two. Charityhelp.org slash b dash two okay well so let's go to exercise b from exercise four yes four b track 100 unit 10 e one can you call jim back this evening Two. I'd like you to email the date of the meeting. Solamente tenemos que escribir el imperativo, ¿eh? Ok, porque la persona va a decir, can you call back? Entonces el imperativo sería call. Can you email me? El imperativo sería email. Yes. Can you uh, send me uh, the, let, the, um, the brochure of blah, blah, blah? Send. Ok, imperatives. Yes, imperatives. Okay. Track 100, Unit 10E. 1. Can you call Jim back this evening? Call Jim back this evening. 2. 2. I'd like you to email the date of the meeting. Email the date of the meeting. 3. Can you meet Mrs. Rivers at the airport? Meet Mrs. Rivers at the airport. Four. 
Would you book a room for two nights at the hotel? Book a room uh, for two nights at the hotel. Five. Can you buy two new mobile phones? Can you buy two mobile phones? Two new mobile phones? Okay, well, so pay attention. Okay, so this is the one, this is the one you are going to write. Este es el que vas a escribir de tarea. Puedes escribirlo ahí y sacarme un PDF, foto PDF. Si vas a name of the caller, quién llamó, uh, message for, para quién es el mensaje, va a ser para la teacher Ruth. ¿Y cuál es el mensaje? ¿Sí? ¿Qué, tengo, qué mensaje me van a dejar? Que le manden un email, uh, que le mande las correcciones. ¿yes? Y cuando pones el mensaje, vas a poner los imperatives. Call, email, send. Estos que practicamos recién aquí. ¿Yes? ¿Es clear? ¿Yes? Uh, meet. Meet teacher Nicole uh, at 3 o'clock at the uh, uh, Havana Cafe. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Buy two, uh, two markers for class 2. ¿Yes? ¿Es clear? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Well, ese va a ser el mensaje que vas a escribir. Is it clear? So now I want you to go, now yes, we are going to go to page 128. Marcar los ejercicios que quiero que hagan, de la revisión. Una mini review, booster, memory booster, ¿ok? 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9 and 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9 and 10. ¿Ok? Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. ¿Ok? Is it clear? Right? Good, good, good. All right. Put the date, of course, in all the pages. El mensaje del Classbook, página 125, ejercicio 5. Yes, ok. Para el 2 del 9, yes, ok. Good, good, good. Ok, well, while I was writing, yes, uh, because it was important. Ok, well, So let's go to the checking part. Yes, okay, checking part from the review. Uh, in exercise uh, one, you have to write sentences. Question we have you ever. Yes, okay. Alguna vez, entonces, ¿cómo formamos el presente perfecto? Have or has. Plus la tercera columna. Y en esto, ¿qué me pide? Question with have you ever. Have you ever bought a present for your boyfriend? Have you ever uh, drunk? Tercera columna de verbo, pasado participio. ¿Sí? Past participle, que significa, que quiere decir la tercera columna. Have you ever drunk mate, alone? Have you ever driven a Ferrari? Yes. Have you ever... Uh, Studied French. Is it clear? Yes. Alguna vez a present perfect. Present perfect. Formamos con el subject. Revisión, eh? Have o has plus the past participle. ¿Cuál es el past participle, teacher? La tercera columna de los verbos. ¿Está? Esto fue dado en la clase pasada. Una short review. Yes, okay, in case you have any question. Have you ever seen the Eiffel Tower? Two. Have you ever taught a subject? Es súper importante saber la lista de verbos, eh? Have you ever learned to play the guitar? Have you ever ridden a motorbike? Have you ever made a film? Yes, okay, la lista de verbos que dicté la clase pasada, que ahora antes de irnos vamos a repetir once more. Exercise two. A5. B4, C2, 
D1, E3, okay? Exercise four, complete with the present perfect or past. Atención, eh? Have you ever visited? Si veo el ever, ya me está dando la pista de que es un present perfect. Did you study? Worked? Did you do? Did you learn? Have spoken. Have spoken. Atención a los adverbios del present perfect. For, I have studied for 10 years. Yes, since, I have studied, si, studied since 1997, for example. Yes, por, desde. Uh, have, you have you done your homework yet? I haven't done my homework yet. Todavía, aún. Yes, entonces, yet, usamos en las afirma en las negativas, negativas e interrogativas. Yes, okay. I have already, yes, I have already washed the dishes. Yo ya he hecho tal cosa. I have just done my homework. Yo ya he hecho mi tarea. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Atención a estudiar todo lo que presenté en la clase pasada. Number one, biology. Number two, geography. Number three, literature, physics. Yes, history and chemistry. Yes, okay. Exercise seven. Study, remember, forget, practice and learn. Exercise nine. Is that A as in Amsterdam? Was that 13 or 30? Is this number 6756475? Is there anything else? Have you sent the email? Yes, and exercise 10 is free. You have to write down the following. The name of a very famous person, Brad Pitt. Yes, uh, Nelson Mandela, for example. The telephone number of your best friend. I don't know by heart. Yes, okay. The address of someone else in your family. Oh my God. Do you remember last class? Things that are easy to remember are things that are difficult to uh, forget. Difficult to remember, yes? Uh, I know how to arrive, but I don't know the exact, yes, number of my sister's house. Yes, okay, I think it is. I know it is in Avenida Italia, but I don't know the number, okay? Well, start for next class. But first of all, we are going to repeat uh, verse number one, okay? Verse number one from the list. Página 182. Dale, dale, come on. Hurry up. Be, was, were, been. Become, became, become, begin, began, began, bring, brought, brought, built, 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 choose, chose, chosen, come, came, come, cost, 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 do, de, done. Vamos a repetir la dos, ya que estamos, ¿ok? Bring, drown, run, eat, ate, eaten, fall, fair, fallen, feel, felt, felt, find, found, found, Fly, flew, flown, forget, forgot, forgotten, get, got, got, give, get, given, go, went, gone. Bye bye, second year. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Happy weekend. Study for next class.